So just received the 4K DVR box. I think it's the X1G4, but I'll double check that in a minute uh, from Xfinity. So just a quick unboxing and then I'll show a hookup. So I worked through uh, Xfinity.com and just used the chat feature uh, and had them ship it right to the house. It was $15, but I don't know about you guys, the Xfinity location service center near me is crazy busy and for $15, I would rather them just ship it to me. So um, anyway, um, some installation guide, quick tips, and we got the Xfinity box, primary set top box. Sorry, I'm a one-man show tonight. Inside, we've got the key box. Instructions. quite as good looking. It's kind of a dull gray, but whatever. It's the new style. You got cable in, cable out, HDMI, TV, you got a USB, Ethernet, and power. And that is it. Pretty simple. Um, and then you've got power adapter cabling. Uh, looks like HDMI cable and coax cable. And the remote. So, and it does have voice on it, so I was curious about that. So, um, in the picture, I couldn't tell. Um, it's a completely different remote. I actually like the other remote, looks better too, uh, that I currently have on the HD box, but uh, this one does have voice. So, anyway, that's it. That's what you get, and we'll do setup. Just wanted to show a comparison of the old box versus the new box. So, this is the uh, HD box that I currently had from Xfinity. Um, pretty big and mine was actually making a kind of a heating noise. You could hear a fan of some sort so it was loud. Um, I have a feeling this new box is going to be different because it's not as big and it uses less power so it's probably not going to have a heating problem like this one did. I had mine in a cabinet. Um, actually I had to take the front door off the cabinet. If you look there the front door off of that because it would it would overheat obviously you don't want electronics behind a closed door I get that but um, I do think this new box is different so and this is the uh, XG1 V4 dash A and you can see the size difference is pretty significant so I happen to like the black box I'm not as big of a fan of the gray but it is what it is. So, also, height wise, it's much different. So, moving on to activation here in a second. So, I've got the box hooked up. Um, I'm not going to do an installation video on that. It's simple. You connect your coax, your HDMI, and your power. Um, one interesting note this is my old box, and um, the new box uses less power. So, this is. Uh, 1.5 amp output 4.3 amp and on the new box it is uh, input 0.8 amp and output 3 amp so it uses less power uh, but better graphics it's 4k so and I'll show you insulation here in a minute with the activation all right so getting ready to set up and uh, I've got the XG1 V4 Comcast box set up, hooked up I should say, 
So now I'm gonna turn power on my TV and we're gonna activate the box. So quick and easy. Um, setup's just two pages. You can really do this pretty easily. So interesting to note, I already noticed that my TV just said that the output is 720p. So that box is not set up to output HD from the factory. Um, I'm sorry, it is set up for HD, but it's not set up for Ultra HD or 4K. So you're gonna have to change that after you activate it. If you don't, you're not getting the output that you wanted from that box. So, all right, so I'm gonna open the Xfinity remote here. the pin for the batteries. This is the remote. Take the plastic off. Here's the remote difference if you want to see. It's actually kind of cool the voice button's lighting up. So I didn't think I was gonna like it because I like this other one, how it felt and how it looked. But something's growing on me. Lights up. It's kind of cool. So, all right, so we're gonna select our language. So it asks you to enter the last four of your phone number. Verifying information. Downloading main menu. Once activation is complete, press the Xfinity, Xfinity button on your remote to find your guide DVR. And then you can also um, set up your TV. I think you say to the Xfinity, you just say set up my remote. At the bottom, it's just giving you some tips on how to use Xfinity Voice. So it's loading X1 apps, visit xfinity.com slash profile to connect apps like Pandora and then enjoy them right here on your TV. Pretty cool. So it hopefully doesn't take too much longer. We're about four minutes in on the activation, so. Also gives you a little pamphlet on how to use the remote, setting up your remote. So setting it up to set up your TV, turn on your TV into your box, activate your remote. Already did that. Select the voice button. Follow the on screen prompts. Try a voice command. And like I said, I think to set up your active TV, you just say set up my remote. Sorry, this is taking a little extra time. We'll have you up and running in just a few more minutes. Don't forget, you're going to have to go in there and change your output resolution setting, probably under devices or video resolution in your settings. 
will not get HD. You'll get HD at 720, which is low. About five and a half minutes in on the activation. I'm sure it's updating the software to any new updates, depending on how long that box has been in storage. So you can name your device. We're gonna call this the Media Room. I will say, I already don't like, on the remote, this inner button, really small, compared to the OK and inner button here. Much smaller. All right. Now, what are you going to do? All right. So it says press and hold Xfinity and info buttons for five seconds. Wait for the remote to change from red to green. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was holding the wrong one. I'm trying to video and do it. So Xfinity and info. I was holding OK. I wasn't paying attention. Red to green. Yep. Enter pairing code. to do. Would you like to control your sharp TV? Yes. Press and hold Xfinity and mute for five seconds. Red to green. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand. Type the five digit code shown above. One, zero, If it took it, try adjusting the volume. It works. Just tell it it works. No, I do not have an audio receiver. So now we're just gonna have to go in the settings. So it's the last thing I want to do. No, an NFA for All right, so. Going to hit your uh, Xfinity button and scroll over to settings. And then you're going to scroll down to device settings, video display. See, it's outputting at uh, widescreen, but 720p HD. So it defaults to that. Um, probably for a lot of different reasons. Um, a lot of people might not have, because uh, I think all their boxes, even my HD box set up that way. So um, it uses a lot of bandwidth if it's higher, so it's probably what they're trying to do. So, but you can see. So right now uh, it's set up to 1080p only because I my TV is not, uh, this is not my 4K TV, so um, I think it knows that, so I don't have that TV yet. So I will be getting that TV, um, but right now I'm going to set it to that. And now we're at full HD. And that's it. Good luck on setting yours up. Thanks for watching.